when everyone asked me where I was from, when we were back growing up, I'm like, ah, way out. Like, you wouldn't know. And, uh, yeah, so we wrote this song called Way Out Boys. We were the way out boys, always the talk of this town. Red letter believers, map dot dream. Hey, this is Christy Garbrandt with PJ North um, at the Just a Kid from Ohio Music Festival in Guernsey County, hosted by Ryan Robinette. Um, PJ, tell me a little bit about what brought you to um, the Music Fest today. Well, I'm born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. I'm an Ohio kid. It's how me and Ryan connected the first time, so i um, very lucky uh, to have him in my life. And we've been close friends, uh, best friends, brothers for the last few years. Uh, ever since we met, he gave me my first cut in Nashville. Um, as a songwriter, been very lucky to cut a bunch of songs that we wrote together. So me and him been kind of ride or die for the last few years. And uh, when he told me all about this a few years ago, what he wanted to do, I was of course on board. So uh, that's how we ended up here today. How crucial do you think music fests like this are to young artists who need a venue? Um, it's a hundred percent. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for me. I'm, I'm still growing. I've been doing this for a long time, but at the point, you know, we're always still growing as fan base. And for things like this to have the opportunity to come and play in front of people who don't know me. Um, you know, and there's some, of course, my friends and family that, that still live in Ohio came out, but um, to have the opportunity to reach people in the entire county, because the whole county's here for the fair, so it worked out great. And uh, it's such a, for me especially, it's such a crucial thing uh, to have the opportunity to play play shows like this. I'm thankful to have it. So you cover multiple genres as far as music goes. You have the country, and yep. then you were doing some pop earlier. Um, what other um, avenues of music do you yeah, so, I mean, my focus is what we call pop-punk country, and it's like uh, we make Nashville songs and we just make them however we want. And so, for me, it's got a little influence of everything I grew up doing. I started as a pop, hip-hop artist um, way back in the day and kind of led me to where I was going down a couple different paths, right? You hit every fork in the road and um, led us to where we are right now, making the best music I've ever made. And uh, So, I, I would say, like I said, we call it pop-punk country, and it's its own thing. It's really, it's a, it's a PJ North euphemism for my music, I'd say. Who would you um, say has been one of the major influencers on your music career or yeah. has impacted you? Uh, honest, I mean, from a from a successful artist or famous artist perspective, uh, Sam Hunt's had probably one of the larger influences on my career. If it wasn't for Between the Pines and me hearing it um, on a mixtape website of, of all places, um, I don't know that I'd have been to Nashville. I don't know that I would have made it um, as a songwriter and doing the things that we wanted to do. I was already starting to kind of do those things, but it took me getting to hearing that song and really changing my life and then of course pop punk stuff Fall Out Boy, All Time Low, those things changed my life. Brooks and Dunn of course is the first musical influence as a kid that I remember. So those, those huge impacts on my life. So outside of music, um, outside of being a singer songwriter, yep. what are some of your interests or hobbies that you like to pursue? So one people, thing people will notice, I'm a huge pro wrestling fan, got the lucha on the shirt. Um, I wear a wrestling tee for each show, a little one different each time. Um, on my drag race. Everybody knows me kind of as that singer, songwriter, race car driver is the thing. I grew up drag racing. Um, it led me to Nashville where I met my wife. Um, and uh, that's kind of how my whole life's worked out, man. I, I owe a lot of things to music and I owe a lot of things to racing. I wouldn't have any success or any of the streams or any of the things we have without those two kind of melding together. And so uh, between pro wrestling and racing, that's really my life. Okay. So country music and drag racing. Normally, those two only cross when somebody's singing about yeah. drag racing. So, how is it that the drag racing ended up bringing you to Nashville for your music? Yeah, career? so uh, I did a couple racing songs. A few when I was kind of figuring out what lane I wanted to go and what I was doing with my music, um, a guy reached out. A buddy of mine said, "Hey, man, you should do a racing song." And I said, "Hey, that's not a bad idea." Um, and I was still doing, like I said, it was pop, hip hop influenced stuff. And uh, this kid, Brian Whitworth, uh, who's a Louisville guy, is a, one of my best friends. Um, was like, hey man, I do this thing called B-double-O, take double-O, and um, I was like, and for people who don't race, you don't know what that is, the whole thing, but at that point, me and him became super close friends, we had a vested interest in what we were trying to do, and at that time, I was like, okay, so we did this song, B-double-O, take double-O, and at that point, changed my whole life, uh, it, and people flew me across the country to race cars for them, and, and sing songs, and play shows, and I ended up in Bowling Green, Kentucky, at a race, uh, and that's where I met my wife, and she already lived in Nashville, and I'd already been trying to transition there, so at the time, the whole thing and kind of kismet and planet and everything lined up and and here we are. So everything just kind of fell in place for you. That's it. That's it. Any message to your fans? 
I love y'all, man. Thank you guys so much for supporting me again, Ryan Robinette, for, for having me out for Just a Kid from Ohio Fest. This has been, again, being Just a Kid from Ohio, um, who never really felt that connection. Um, it, it's so great to be here in Guernsey County. And all y'all that made it out here tonight, everybody that's watching this video, thank y'all. Continue to stream it. Brand new single, Promise Anything's out now, so don't forget to check it out. I appreciate y'all. Thank okay. you. So where can your fans find you? Um... Thepjnorth.com. I'm on Instagram, it's thepjnorth. YouTube is thepjnorth. Twitter is official pjnorth. Uh, TikTok, thepjnorth. And that is a play on the Ohio State for all those keeping score. So it is the uh, for all those. But that you can find me anywhere. Okay. Christy Garbrandt, PJ North. Uh, just to get from Ohio Music Fest uh, from the Grinch County Fairgrounds. Thanks for joining us. Thank y'all. We were the way down boys. Always the talk of this town. Red letter believe